There is no necessity to take the offensive in karate. Karate Do is a martial art that is not intended to gain a victory. Its aim is to develop a fine personality by enduring the various trials and by sweat. Shotokan, the late Ichin Funakoshi's orthodox instruction. General Supervision, Masatoshi Nakayama, Chief Instructor of the Japan Karate Association. Heian Shodan is a basic kata. Its purpose is to acquire a fundamental theory and a basic technique indispensable to karate. Let's watch the film, punctuated by instructor Nakayama's commentary. This kata is a basic defensive waza. It consists of kadan harai, jodan age uka, chudan kokutsu uke, and chudan oitsuki. The stances are Zenkutsu Dachi and Kokutsu Dachi. Perform the third Age Uke powerfully as a decisive waza rather than a mere defensive one. In twisting around, twist your waist quickly using your back leg as an axis. Do not lift your heel from the ground. Three consecutive thrusts are intended not to allow an opponent time to counter-attack. Thrust as rapidly as possible, especially on the second and the third thrusts. Master thoroughly the method of turning direction and shto uke in kokutsu dachi.
Each action is not independent. The end of one waza is the beginning of the next. Kata must be continuous and flowing, each movement intricately related and performed with concentration and total effort. Please pay attention to the continuity of the kata. Let's watch again. Instructor Nakayama's commentary. In the fourth movement, the twist of the wrist and the course the moving arm follows are very important. When you are caught in a powerful grasp, you cannot break free by mere pulling. You pull toward the extension of the arm and simultaneously twist your wrist. If you still cannot break free, pull your fist back with a rapid movement of the forearm. In the seventh movement, you block with the left hand and then the right hand. Once you've blocked, open your hand. These movements are precise. In karate, the defense turns into the offense at once. In changing direction, practical use of an axial leg is very important. In this case, fix a bended knee and without changing place, twist your waist using the leg as an axis. It is essential to understand from where and how you are attacked and to what place you will counterattack. It's most important to know your target.
Here we'll learn to master Haimen Sokumen Jodan Uke, Yoko Geri, Uraken Doji Kogeki, and Mae Geri. Heian Nidan. Let's watch the film. In Sokume and Uke, you trick with your body facing front without twisting your knees. Usually, you trick in two movements, but as you progress, you'll be able to do it in one by pulling and pushing your legs and tricking Urakan Yoko Geri simultaneously. There are 26 movements in all. Fully bend and set your back knee. Use this leg as an axis. Take care not to change the height of your waist. Six, eight, nine, ten. When you perform a trick in Gyaku Hamni stance, turn your hip fully using your back leg as an axis so that your upper body will turn half side. Shi. Go. If you master this kata and make use of the basic tricks included in it, your fighting action such as basai will be perfected. Let's watch the entire course of action again. Oh! 
Instructor Nakayama explains the points of action. This Sokumen Uke is seen in karate very often. In this case, you defend, making your forearm erect from the elbow. All movement should remain in one plane. Whether you make a fist or an open hand, the position of the elbow doesn't change. This action is seen in many kata. Its purpose is to change direction and attempt a trick without changing the position of your upper body. So take a short step forward and make an axis line from your head to your toe. Change direction by turning your hips and then kick. The hamni stance of the 16th to 19th movements is called gyaku hamni. It differs from the usual hamni stance in that the back foot side of the hip is moved forward and you make a trick. In the 19th movement, you turn your hip quickly enough for your forefoot to be pulled back naturally. In Chudan Gedan, simultaneously bring one hand up and the other down. This kata consists of the changing defense of the middle and lower stance, the elbow defense, uraken, step in, and so on. Heian Sandan. Hey!
Let's watch each movement separately. Master the elbow position and the tight side closing thoroughly through this form. In Nukite, from Morote Uke and Oitsuki, coming out of the wide rotational full turn, move with the intention of pushing your hips forward. In this elbow defense, it's necessary to defend employing the hip turn, fixing your bust, hips, and both arms like a rock instead of moving your arms separately. It's important to intend to defend yourself with your hip rather than with your elbow. After left Oitsuki, draw your right back foot, take a step to the right, and rest your weight on your right foot. Turn your body to the left with a wide rotational movement, and you are in kibatachi stance. The basic waza of this kata is used for the jute action. Let's watch the entire course of action again. Instructor Nakayama will explain the points of action. This is the changing defense of the middle and lower stances. Whether in middle or lower stance defense, maintain the same elbow position. The elbow should be the width of your fist away from your side. This is an important principle. Don't change your elbow position, even when you bend or open your arms or when you stand in heisoku dachi or in anti-flexion. When you are forced to take a reverse stance, it's of no use trying to loosen yourself from the opponent's grasp. On the contrary, it's important to hold on to the opponent. In this defense, it's of no effect to move your arms. So defend yourself by turning your hip and take the offensive by turning your elbow and a vertical forearm.
it's of no effect to attack from the side. This is a form of Tai Sabake and is called Yori Ashi. When you move to the right, push your body out with the left leg, and when you move to the left, push out with the right leg. The important point is absolutely do not change the form below your waist. Heian is the basic kata of karate. If you devote yourself to mastering karate, it's important not to hurry. Please take your time. Produced by Kazusa Corporation. The late Ichin Funakoshi's orthodox instruction. General supervision, Masatoshi Nakayama, chief instructor of the Japan Karate Association. Heian is a basic kata which includes the fundamental theory and technique indispensable to karate. Heian Yonan. Let's watch from another angle. Thank you. 
Instructor Nakayama's detailed explanation. Heian consists of the following forms Gedan Juji Uke, Chudan Morote Uke, Shto Yokomawashi Uchi, and so on. First of all, we must master Kosa Dachi thoroughly. The first and second movements are slow, but be sure to move both arms simultaneously and to maintain the position. After my geri, you strike at your opponent by turning uraken while rushing about two paces forward in one step. Use the springy ankle of your pivot foot and stand with crossed legs. Turn, keeping your hips at the same height as Kosadachi. If you kick after Kakiwake Uke, keep your arms tight to the body, or else you will be open to your opponent's counterattack. If you lift your elbows, your face and chest will be open to counterattack. In the 25th movement, maintain your stance and transfer your weight forward without altering the height of your hips. Then pull down your arms from their obliquely forward position while raising up your knee simultaneously. This kata is the basis of kanku dai. The end of one series of actions is the beginning of the next. Kata must have a fluid motion. Let's try once again, paying special attention to the flow. Explanation of the essential points by Instructor Nakayama. In Gedan Juji Uke, you must push forward the hips for the move to be effective. Do not pull back the hips. You must act without hesitation. This is Kosadachi. Balance yourself by placing your weight on your right foot and crossing your left foot behind the right one. In the eleventh action, make a trick with the rotary motion of the hips. 
After kicking, rush forward and strike at your opponent by bringing your forearm down from a vertical position. Before the kick, you need not change the position of the elbow. When you thrust, thrust out from the position of the fist. While shifting your weight forward, raise your outstretched arms to head level. Then raise your right knee while pulling down your hands simultaneously. Heian Godan is composed of the following waza. Kamae of Mizunagare, Ryosho Juji Jodan, Ryosho Chudan, Osae Uke, Sokumen Harai of Kibadachi, Sokumen Chudan Kakeuke, Mikazuki Geri, crossing with jump and so on. Heian Godan! Let's watch each movement respectively. Each knee. Some. 
四五。In the third and sixth movements, you must move your hands and feet in accordance with the rotational motion of the hips. Six, eight, two, zero, one, eight. When moving from Gedan Juji Uke to Jodan Juji Uke, pull your arms up before your breast while crossing your wrists. Then catch the opponent's fist by pushing it up. In the 13th movement, it's important to push your elbows and knees up simultaneously. After landing in the 19th movement, stand crossing your feet with your weight on the right foot, similar to Heian Yondan. In the 21st movement, turn the hips left and look behind. Then strike your right hand towards your left knee. Quickly transfer your weight onto the right foot and making your fist, pull your right hand up as the left hand comes down, as if stretching a piece of rubber. The basis of this form is frequently used in MP. Let's have another look from the beginning. Instructor Nakayama will explain the essential points. After Jodan Juji Uke, strike down the opponent's fist, which is thrusting towards the pit of your stomach. Then redirect the right fist. To the side with ski uke. After kake uke, kick mikazuki geri and immediately get through with your elbow to the opponent's body. In Mikazuki Geri, it is important to lift your knee high without changing the height of your hips. Always focus your eyes directly on the present target while maintaining a lookout for your next target.
Tekki is the driving force of karate, giving power to the waza. It is also the kata to discipline your waist and to acquire the skill to stand properly. Tekki Shodan. Let's watch the movement in detail. However much movement, you must continue standing kibadachi. Even when you attack on the opponent's side, you must keep the position beneath the hips to the front. Although Teki has rather simple action, turn your head spiritedly and energetically. When you attack to the side, you must turn your head first. In the tenth and fourteenth movements, you turn your head only. In the ninth and twenty-third movements, you need not twist your arm because you catch the opponent's fist with Haiwan Jodan Nagashi Uke. The back of your hand still turns outward. Shi go, look, six, hat. Teki has only transverse movement. When moving from side to side, there's a tendency to move forward. Please pay close attention not to move forward. Let's have another look from the beginning. Go! 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 
Explanation of the essential points by instructor Nakayama. In this foot movement, step moving your knee in a high arch. Your arm must be parallel with your breast in this kagitsuki. To make this form, lower your shoulder and stick it out forward a little bit. Making perfect form of the shoulder enables you to thrust with stretch and power and you will make progress in ukke. This is a special kick, nami gaishi. You must kick your foot over inside using a springy knee without changing your basic position. You will need to practice this exercise constantly. It is said that teki is a kata of training, giving power to the tricks of karate. You must strictly discipline your waist and acquire the skill to stand properly. ひとつ、誠の道を守ること。ひとつ、誠の道を守ること。ひとつ、努力の精神を養うこと。ひとつ、礼儀を重んずること。ひとつ、血気の湯を戒めること。ひとつ、血気の湯を戒めること。ひと